Hey everyone, this is Jen with More Than Mythic, and I'm here in my garrison with Squirt. And Squirt is a pretty easy and fast tamer to beat. And today is Super Squirt Day, which means that her being in my garrison aligns with Blizzard's Pet Battle Bonus Experience Week. So this only happens once or twice every year. And if you have a safari hat on this day, you can level up a, a animal, a pet, <laughs> from level 1 to 25 in only two battles. If you don't have a safari hat, I do not have one yet, you can level it up to level from level 1 to 24. So that's what you're going to see me do today. And I just thought I'd make a really quick video demonstrating um, one of the strategies. There's many different pets and strategies you can use. I am going to show you using the mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. And I've chosen this one because this was a pretty easy pet to get. It's made by engineers, so you can find them fairly easily on the auction house at any time. This is a two pet strategy, so we've got two level 25s, and then my carry pet which, for this instance, is going to be the Pygmy Dire Horn. So we're going to get started. Now this is not a strategy I created. This is one that I found online, and I will link the original source for you guys to check out because it explains everything. But I'm just going to take you through a real quick demonstration of how fast it can be to level up from 1 to 24. And again, I don't have the safari hat, so I can only level up to 24. If I had the safari hat, I'd be able to level up to 25. But as you can see, the dragon's doing a pretty good job on Deebs. And mainly just using the breath ability. There he goes, down. Now this one gets a little tricky. Let's hope it works in our favor. When darkness is cast, there's a 90% hit chance. So there's that 10%. It's not going to go our way. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and it did not go our way. <laughs> did you see that? It missed her. So here's what I've been doing on the miss. This isn't the strategy that's going to be linked then, but that's all right. I do the decoy because otherwise it might ruin our pet. And if it ruins our pet, to be honest, our level one pet. I'm going to start the video over, but let's see if we can take care of it without having to do that. So I did the decoy to kind of protect that back pet, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, see? Just killed the level one pet. Okay, so that was a horrible example. <laughs> so you know what? We are going to start over. This is what I've been doing. Because there is that 10% chance that it's going to miss. And so we're going to start over. I'm going to heal all my pets. And let's start over. I was having really good luck earlier in the day. This was working for me 9 times out of 10. And now it seems to have taken a turn for the worse. So let's try that again. I also timed this fight earlier in the day. And the whole fight if you do it without any pauses, was under four minutes. Now, as I said in the beginning, there are some faster strategies with different pets, but these were the pets I had, and they were pretty easy to get. And I already had them leveled up to 25, the dragons, before this event started. All right, let's hope it goes our way this time. As long as the explode gets it, we should be good. There we go. That's how we want it to go. That's how it works most of the time. So then you switch to your other dragon and breath. There we go. That's the way it works most of the time. And then because this pet does a protection, you can bring in your carry pet. It does a dodge spell. So your carry pet doesn't take any damage. You can bring them in and switch them out real quick. 
and then you bring your dragon back in to finish it off. So for the most part it's a pretty easy fight but as you can see it can go wrong. Now sometimes when it has gone wrong that decoy has been enough to protect the pet, the carry pet, and as you saw here sometimes it's not. <laughs> And I don't bother finishing the fight if it doesn't go in my favor because there's nothing to be gained from it. So there we go. And see, from 1 to level 17. There we go. I was going to say they looked all healed. So you know what? We're going to repeat it one more time. Because my intention, I'm healing my pets and going back into the ring. My intention was to show you the complete fight, so this video will be a little bit longer because it didn't go our way the first try, but let's give it a shot anyway. I had somebody message me today saying they leveled up at least 30 pets so far on Super Squirt Day. So it's a, an exciting day, but it only happens a couple times a year. And I am creating this video in May. And this is the last squirt day of the year. So there's going to be no more squirt days <laughs> for the rest of the year. We'll have to look forward to the following year to see. Okay, now here's where it can go wrong, so let's hope that let's hope that explode at least gives some damage. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want it to do. So we switch to our dragon. Continue with the breath. Now even if that explode wouldn't have worked, I still would have done the decoy and because that carry pet is now level 17 it has a much better chance of surviving. And so the fight probably would have continued had it been the other way around. It's just if that explode misses on the first round when your carry pet's still a level 1. There we go. Now because I don't have the safari hat, you're going to see that it's leveled up to 24. But if you are lucky enough to have completed that safari hat and you are wearing that, you should level up to 25. And so that's pretty quick method to get your pets from level 1 to 24 or 25 on Super Squirt Day. So I hope you found this helpful. This was only one pet strategy, but um, take a look around on Google and whatnot and find yourself, see what works best for you. Again, this is Jen with More Than Mythic. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.